Next accurate forecast in the Arklatex. Welcome back, everybody. It is Sunday, and tomorrow we start off. Well, today's a brand new week, but tomorrow it is warm. If you're a fan of summer, you know, we get those kind of temperatures in that forecast. If you're a fan of winter, get ready. Freezing or frost? Yeah, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Right now, you are looking currently at your Bowie County Equipment Cam in DeKalb, Texas. Just about all the architects right now with gray skies. And the further south you go, there is some heavier rain coming down, but we're seeing showers begin to redevelop across the northern parts of the Arklatex. So yes, the gray sky you're seeing there is going to last a while. Here it is down to the south. There is uh, more activity coming in through Henderson and likely to Carthage and Mansfield. A few little scattered showers and more showers redeveloping across the northern parts of the Arklatex. We had a decent chance overnight. We're going to see those showers continue into the area and taper off very early in the morning. So with that said, how about those afternoon high temperatures? Because of a cold front moving through the area, the cooler temperatures or colder temperatures, however you want to look at it, it's cooler, are to the north with 77 right now in Dequeen at 73 in Idabel, 74 Texarkana. We got 71 in Mount Pleasant, also in Magnolia. We're in the upper 70s in Shreveport with 77 degrees, but it's 85 in Manny, 86 in Natchitoches. Yep, that cold air is going to spill in. Never have any doubt about that. And as we look at your seven day forecast, this is what we're looking at. As we hit right now, or by 11 o'clock tonight, we will be seeing a cold front moving south. As we hit seven o'clock in the morning, we will be watching very closely showers, even into the rest of the morning. This is Monday, 7 a.m. And then Monday at noon, we will see, yes, a starting to clear and rain or showers exiting the southern portions of the area. Very strong north northeast winds coming into the area will be found. And as we go to Monday, 7 o'clock, a lot of the area is going to already be clearing skies. And as we head into Tuesday at about 7 p.m., we will have clear skies all the way around. Some of the coldest air of this fall season is going to spill rapidly into the Arklatex. As we go into Wednesday at 7 a.m., you bet, high pressure, very dry conditions and very cold conditions are going to spill into the Arklatex with 7 o'clock Wednesday morning, a likely freeze from the northern Arklatex right down to I-20. From I-20 on to the southern Arklatex, likely we'll be seeing the possibility of frost warnings. So with that said, be prepared. We are going to see some very cold temperatures. And as we go on into Wednesday, 7 p.m. and Thursday morning, we will see still, despite a southerly breeze, another round of cold weather. All right. Tomorrow morning, 56, 73, 20% chance of a few little morning showers, southern half of the area, 42 and 62. Wow, that's a big drop. North winds at 12. We're going to be either side of freezing as we go into your Wednesday and maybe even some upper 20s, northern Arklatex. Be prepared. Tender vegetation, pipes, the whole routine. As we go into your Thursday, after a high of 63, we drop down into the low to mid 30s, maybe even some upper 30s far south. 76 begins a warm up, 83, then 85, and then another little chill front, but only 84 by Sunday. Remember, possible freeze and frost coming on Wednesday and Thursday morning. We'll be right back. 